Hey guys and welcome back to another what I wore in a week video. I thought I'd continue the momentum especially as daylight savings ends this weekend. Uh, it's Monday and I'm just about to rush out the door to go to work. I seem to be running just a little bit late. I thought I'd sleep in until 7 this morning. I usually get up earlier. Uh, so today let's just quickly run through my outfit. I am wearing the um, loop earrings from Majuri. Uh, if you guys recall, these are the ones that I actually co-designed with them and I still love them. They still look really classic. They just go with every single outfit. I feel like they work really well for both day and for night. The only other accessory that I'm wearing aside from my rings is my linear watch. There you go, that's what that one looks like. You guys will have seen that about a million times. And for my outfit, I've gone for kind of an all black look today. So I'm wearing this black skivvy from Kate Sylvester. This is pretty old, but I've seen so many similar kinds of things. Then my dress is from Style Keepers. And I got this last year during the Black Friday sales. However, I've seen a dupe for it. It's like exactly the same with the ruffle and everything um, online. So I will link that down below. And then on my feet, my Eveline day heels and so quite kind of a feminine outfit actually when you look at it for my bag i'm just going with my eveline market tote so yeah that's me today morning guys so today is tuesday i'm just about to head to work um, and i thought i would show you my outfit it does feel pretty spring like but it's still very warm at the moment um i do have pilates at lunchtime again like last week i'm so glad that i actually signed up to pilates because i have some back issues and i find that working out my core helps to alleviate those problems so let's go on to the outfit details i have on my majuri hoops these are just a really good fail safe everyday kind of an earring. Then my watch today is my linear watch. God, I need to leave. Then another kind of monochromatic outfit. I'm wearing my J. Crew polka dot rack front top, which I like a lot. I've seen a similar one actually that I will link below because I don't know if this one's available anymore. My skirt is from Karen Walker. This is a really old kind of a flannel skirt. Then my blazer is from Stella McCartney. You guys will have seen this in my haul from The Real Real. Um, I really like it. Um, nice kind of silk blazer. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my charcoal Vanelli pumps. This is the first time I'm wearing them, so I'm gonna break those in today. That's kind of the full outfit. And then I've just got my um, tote bag down there. So we go, hopefully I don't miss my train. Eek. Morning guys, so it is Wednesday. We are halfway through the working week, given that we've got Friday off this week. Uh, I'm just about to head into work. I have given myself a little bit of extra time because I ended up missing the train by a hair yesterday, so I don't want to miss it again this morning. Um, I've gone for something really kind of casual. It's going to be quite warm again today, and as I learned on Monday, wearing merino when it's 28 degrees is not a good idea. So <laughs> I've gone for something that's um, going to withstand the heat, particularly my walk across to work. So uh, I'll talk you through my accessories. Um, I'm wearing these earrings from Amber Skeets. I got these over Christmas. I managed to snag them on sale and I really like them. They're just sort of a weighty oval um, and I seem to really be into gold jewelry at the moment. Previously I always wore silver so you guys might have noticed that I've been wearing a lot of gold jewelry over the last year. Um, then my necklace, hopefully you guys can see that, is from Majuri. This is just a simple gold necklace and it's really dainty. I like wearing it most days, just because it's perfect, you can wear it in the shower and that kind of thing. You don't have to worry about taking it off. Uh, then my outfit, oh, I haven't actually done my hair today. I'm just leaving it natural. Okay, so I am kind of feeling a little bit like Barbie with this candy pink top, but I really like it. It's just a simple little pink camisole from Grana. Uh, I really adore the style that they've done. It's a lot nicer than their racerbacks. It's the same kind of nice wash silk uh, and it isn't as oversized as the v-neck silk camis. So if you're looking for one that isn't too low cut or too revealing, I highly recommend this one. I've gone for the extra small and as you can see it's got a little bit of space but not too much. Then the cardigan that I'm wearing is a really old one. This is from Karen Walker and gosh, I don't even know how long I've had this for. I would say I've probably had this for a good eight or nine years. It's a beautiful cashmere and it has this navy trim with little gold buttons that have a peace sign on them. So that one's really nice. I thought I'd whip that out. Then my skirt is just my ASOS 
denim mini. As I said, I've gone for something very casual and relaxed today. And then on my feet, I am wearing my Country Road Bow Flats. As I said in my last What I Wore in a Week video, I really like these. They are super comfortable. And I just like the fact that they give you that designer look for less. My bag is the Everlane Tote. This just goes with absolutely everything. I love a good nude bag and I think it's a great alternative to a tan or a black bag. So there you go. That's my full outfit today. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I'm just about to head to work. This evening we've got a farewell for one of my dear friends and colleagues who's been working there for 10 years. So it's gonna be very sad, but also good to give her a good send off. Um, it's gonna be about 27 degrees. So very simple kind of an outfit on today. Uh, I've just got for accessories, I'm wearing these Reliquia earrings again. <laughs> Can't seem to get enough of them. On my wrist, I am wearing the uh, Pandora Honeybee bracelet, which I really like. And then, uh, I've just got this dress on from Karen Walker, which you guys will have seen before, and I've put it in a blog post, which I can link in the description box below. Just has a really nice ruffle detail around the entire dress. I have seen it on eBay, so if it's still, if the if the listing's still live, I will link it down in the description box. And then on my feet, I'm wearing these Charlotte Olympia suede pointed toe ballet flats, which I think are really sweet. So. There you go, that's the whole outfit. My bag is just gonna be my Everlane tote bag today. Hey guys, so it is Friday today, um, good Friday. So start of the long weekend. Luke and I have been up at Palm Beach today, which is why I'm not really wearing any makeup. Um, I didn't actually go for a swim, I just lay out in the sun and read my book, but it was just so relaxing. It's a bit of a drive from where we live, but kind of worth it, the beach up there is beautiful. Um, if you're not familiar or you're not from Australia, Palm Beach is where they film this show called Home and Away, which I used to watch a lot when I was a teenager living back in New Zealand. So um, yeah, I'm not really wearing any jewelry, uh, but let me show you my outfit. All right, so I've gone for a really simple color palette today, all white. Uh, the shirt is from Madewell, and this is the Courier shirt, and I actually got this before we went to Europe and the US last year. I love this sort of pocket detail on the front. It's really nice and oversized, really great for tucking into everything. My belt is from Sports Craft, um, just a really nice leather belt, which I think helps to break up the white on white. And then my skirt is my J. Crew denim skirt, which I've been getting quite a bit of wear out of still, even though it is autumn, technically. On my feet, I'm wearing my Sports Craft sandals. I really like these, I just think they're a really great neutral. I always kind of think some sort of pattern like snake skin or leopard print is a great option and the nude that kind of helps to really tie that all in. And then the bag that I've got today is just this straw bag, which um, I've had for a while now. It did have a tassel detail on it, but I took it off just as I like it a bit more like this. So. This is kind of the full outfit today. I also thought I'd show you guys this little pouch which I've got in my bag too. This is from Mon Purse. My brother and sister got it for my birthday last year. And I've got all my essentials in here like my wallet, my uh, phone, keys, all that kind of stuff. And then also uh, I have been making my way through Authority. I'm not too far off the end now. I kind of got through quite a lot while I was sitting at the beach. And I think I'm going to spend the evening finishing that off. Also, I kind of thought I would mention um, my very minimal outfit. So uh, I'm actually going to be doing that 10 for 10 wardrobe challenge. It kind of feels a little bit like a spring challenge just because it is going to be so hot for the next 10 days. It's kind of between 26 to 33 degrees every single day. So very warm, it does not feel like autumn at all. So I am going to do a full wrap up of that on my blog, which I will link in the description box below if you guys would like to check that out. So it'll be all the pieces that I'm gonna be wearing over the next 10 days, as well as the 10 different ways that I've styled all those items. So yeah, I'd love to know if you guys have done this challenge too. And I'm kind of thinking what I will do is time the upload of this video with when that post goes live so that you can kind of go from this video to that post if you like. Anyway, that is me for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's Saturday, day two of the long weekend. Uh, we're just having a very lazy morning at home. I've been shooting some blog posts, photos. I've got a review for the Nards Wanted palette going up today. So I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, I don't really think we've got too much on the agenda. I've started reading the second book in the um, Southern Reach trilogy. 
acceptance. I finished book two yesterday and I have to say like it was definitely very bizarre and sort of felt like you were being let in on a secret and now with the third book I feel like I'm actually finally starting to learn what's going on so I'm enjoying it and I really can't wait to kind of dig into this a little bit more over the long weekend. Uh, for my outfit, so as you guys know I'm doing the 10x10 10 wardrobe challenge thing right now so <laughs> I'm going to be wearing a lot of the same sort of looks over the next week and a half. Um, but for my earrings I'm wearing my Reliquia earrings which I absolutely adore and really can't seem to get enough of. Don't have any other jewellery on at the moment. Please excuse my tripod in the background like I said I've been taking some blog photos and stuff like that. Uh, but for my t-shirt I am wearing this ruby t-shirt which is really sweet it's got little rolled up cuffs and then just this heart here which says ruby it's a really nice thick kind of a cotton very comfortable and I like the fact that it's got a bit of structure to it then the jeans that I'm wearing today are my redone denim these are the ones with the frayed edge hems I really really like these I love the fact that they have the button fly I just think it's very different and I think they're quite flattering, they're sort of a high-waisted, they come up to just a little bit below my belly button. And then on my feet I've got the uh, Charlotte Olympia kind of ballet flats with the gold heel. Absolutely love these and I think the pointed toe is just very elegant. So this is kind of a look at my full outfit right now. Um, I don't think I've got any plans to go out but if we do, um, if we do go out I will probably wear this bag, this kind of round bag from celery it's so cute really loving wearing this at the moment so yeah that's me today hey guys so it is sunday end of the week um easter sunday as well so um i hope you've all been having a really lovely easter celebrations um i'm greek so our easter is actually not for another week we've just been taking it really easy today luke's kind of come down with something so i've been pottering around the house doing some odd jobs i just edited a video before i've just filmed a video which is why i'm all made up i kind of did my everyday makeup routine but also talked through all of my beauty favorites so if that's up by the time this goes up, I will link it up, he up here. <laughs> but so I'm just wearing a really kind of chill outfit. I don't know, we're not gonna be going anywhere, um, but it is so hot today. Like it's ridiculously hot, far hotter than when we went to the beach on Friday. Um, in terms of accessories, I'm just wearing what I was wearing to film. So I've got my loop earrings on from Majuri. These are the ones I co-designed with them. Just love them, they're so, like really elegant very kind of simple understated piece of jewelry and then for my outfit so it's day three of the 10 by 10 wardrobe challenge i actually think i've probably not picked the best given the weather it's just so unseasonably hot i mean we're going into the second month of autumn and it's still 30 degrees which is madness um so i am wearing my grana silk cami you guys know how much i love these and i will do a comparison on the this cami here the everlane camis that i've got and also the other v-neck style camis that i have from grana too so yeah, I hope you guys are keen for that, but I have had a request, so I will film that very soon. My skirt is the J. Crew denim mini again. I just kind of worn it with the cami kind of loose. And then on my feet, I'm wearing these bow flats from Country Road. Again, I just feel like these are very kind of elegant, a very kind of easy, understated way to add something different to my outfit. So that's kind of the full look from afar like i said i don't think i'm going to be going anywhere today but if i do i'm going to use this bag here from linya so here's the bag on this is the linya tulip bag so they really kindly gifted this to me as a bit of thank you for some work that i did for them last year uh, i really can't wait for it to soften up which is why i'm trying to get a bit of wear out of it uh, when i can and when it's not raining so um I can't wait till I can properly draw the drawstring clothes. I will actually insert a picture of Jen's because hers is kind of exactly what I'm hoping it will look like after a few months of wear. I'll pop it here, a little photo so you guys can get a peek. And I kind of love the fact that it's got the canvas interior and then it also has these little pops of yellow on the other side of the Vachetta leather. So just gorgeous. So yeah, that's kind of my full outfit today.
So thank you guys so much for watching this week in outfits. I hope that you've enjoyed it. It's kind of been a little bit of a funny week just because it's been Easter and I think it's just been so hot. I haven't really known what to do with myself. I've sort of been planning all of these autumn outfits and I haven't actually been able to wear them. I even decided to go and have a look back at the weather forecast from 2017 to see what the weather was like in March and it was definitely a lot cooler so I know I'm not crazy and thinking it's been super hot recently uh, anyway I'd love to know which outfit was your favorite um, like I said they're all kind of pretty relaxed pretty casual this week um, for a change I usually try and make my work outfits a little bit more kind of smart I guess but yeah um, I hope you all had a really beautiful Easter weekend and I will see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye